Chewa is on a mission. The four-year-old giant pouch rat is looking for tuberculosis. He makes his way through the human saliva samples, using his keen sense of smell to detect molecules present in the tuberculosis germ. When he finds what he's looking for, he pauses to alert his trainer. Nine. The African giant poacher rat has more receptor gene compared to the other, the other animals because they have high sense of smell. So they can, they can detect the presence of MTB in human sputum very easy. For developing countries like Tanzania, the rats are a much needed tool. The country now relies on TB detection techniques that are more than a century old, which lead to misdiagnosis and further spread of the contagious disease. According to the WHO estimates, uh, 60,000 only represents a third of all the patients uh, that are there which means that the majority of TB patients still remain undiagnosed. Every year, 30,000 people will die of the disease in Tanzania. That's about 82 people every day. Apopo believes their rats, which are native to Tanzania, are a cheap and effective solution in filling the diagnosis gap. Rat can use the time in between 10 and 20 minutes to finish evaluating 100 samples a task that would have taken a lab technician a time of four to five days to finish that job. After the rats conduct their triage, samples indicated as positive are further checked by the lab's technicians, and final results are sent back to hospitals within 24 hours so patients can begin medication. Since the beginning of the TB detection program, Apopo says the rats have detected thousands of cases originally missed by conventional testing. Apopo hopes to soon expand their TB program to other countries and train rats like Chewa to sniff out other diseases. Sophie Tromley for VOA News in Dar es Salaam.